When you open Blender, you'll be presented with a splash screen. You can choose one of the optional starter files, but for now, let's just click outside of it to remove it. If you're new to Blender, this UI can be a little overwhelming. So for now, let's hit Control and Spacebar to maximize the 3D viewport. If you want to leave full screen mode, you can click back to previous or hit Control plus Spacebar a second time. In Blender, the two main methods of navigating the 3D viewport is through orbiting and panning. To orbit around an object, hold down middle mouse button and then drag your mouse. If you're on a laptop with multi-touch support, you can also use two fingers to orbit around an object. To pan around the 3D viewport, we want to hold down shift and use middle mouse. It's important to note that when you pan, it changes the pivot of your orbit position. For example, if I pan over to the camera, the pivot position will be loosely based around the camera. To get a closer look at our object, you can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. With the basics out of the way, let's talk about some more advanced camera controls. While orbiting with the middle mouse button, if you press right click, it will cancel the orbit operation. It is highly recommended to have a keyboard with a numpad or to have an external numpad that you can plug in. For example, the following hotkeys can be used to snap to different views in the 3D viewport. By pressing 1 on the numpad, you will snap to the front view, which is the negative Y orientation. By pressing 3, you go to the right view, and pressing 7 takes you to the top view. If you press 9, it will present the opposite of the current view. For example, if I press 7 to go to the top view, I can press 9 to swap to the bottom view. If you don't have a numpad or just want to keep your hand on the mouse, you can hold Alt and drag with middle mouse to snap to the desired face. You can also use the num keys 4, 8, 6, and 2 to make snaps in 15 degree increments. For example, if I press 1 to snap to the front view, I can press 6 to snap in 15 degree increments and I can press 8 to go up. You'll notice that the scene currently looks a little strange. That's because we are currently in orthographic view, as noted by the top left side of the screen. If you press 5 on the numpad, it will toggle between orthographic and perspective view. Orthographic view is handy for making precise changes to your model. If you ever find yourself separated from your objects, you can click on an object with left click and press period on the numpad to snap to it. This will also change your orbit position. If you don't have a numpad, you can also press F3 to open the search menu. If you type frame selected, it will snap to the selected object. Alternatively, if you want to see everything in your scene, you can press Shift C to set the frame to all objects. However, it's important to keep in mind that Shift C will show you all the objects in your scene, which might be inconvenient if you're working on a large scene or with many objects. The following navigation tips are not as useful, but still good to know. If you need to zoom in further on an object, you can alternatively use the dolly zoom by holding Control, Shift, and using the middle mouse button to drag. You can use Shift plus the numpad keys 4 and 6 to roll the viewport. This can cause your scene to get quite confusing. So if you need to reset, just press any of the num keys that snap to an orientation, and then you can use the middle mouse button to drag out of it. If you have a large scene that can be traversed, you can use walk navigation. Press F3 to open the search bar and type in walk navigation and hit enter. This allows you to navigate through your scene like a game engine. All the controls are listed at the bottom, but some of the useful ones are Q and E to go up and down, spacebar to teleport, and tab to toggle gravity. Just be careful not to fall off. To exit walk navigation, you can press escape or right click to cancel. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more content. Thanks for watching.